Okay, so circuit sessions number four. So first off, it's going to be that plank to push up. So as always with these, you're going to work for 40 seconds and have a 20 seconds breather. You've got 10 exercises that I'm going to introduce you to now, and you're going to go round three times. So first one is this plank to push up. Now, if you need to break this down into its component parts, you may just choose to do the plank. You may just choose to do push-ups. Why you'd want to do 40 seconds of push-ups, though, I do not know. So you've got plank to push-up on these. And then you have your crossing lunge. So as you can see here in the uh, demo, I've got the S3 Fitness t-shirt on. You want to be keeping your torso nice and tall. So if you've got a t-shirt on with your logo, somebody who stood in front of you should be able to see the logo all the way through on this. So that's your crossing lunge. New one in for this one is your inverted shoulder press. So this is going to get the shoulders lit up. So the inverted shoulder press, basically, you're going to place your hands on the ground. You're going to snap yourself in half, so get yourself to 90 degrees at the uh, hips there. You're going to lower yourself down and then drive on up. Now, these aren't easy. These are not easy at all. So if you struggle with these, if you've got any weights at home, basically it's like a shoulder press. So uh, stand up nice and tall, grab a weight, and do a shoulder press instead, uh, whether it's a dumbbell or a um, kettlebell, then you can press that up into the ceiling. Otherwise, it'll be the inverted shoulder press. Next up after that, it is body weight squats. Obviously, if you've got a weight and you want to load this, then you can do. Otherwise, it's going to be nice, solid body weight squats. Knees tracking forward as the hips track back. Again, if I was to move my hands out of the way here, you should be able to see the Under Armour logo just on the left-hand side of the T-shirt and the S3 Fitness logo on the right-hand side of the T-shirt. So heads up and chest up with those. So you've got squats. Then you've got those pesky two-inch running places. Uh, two-inch running places? Two-inch running place. Like you're going to move around places. So nice and easy. Nice rapid feet with these. 40 seconds. Bring the arms in to get the upper body mobilized. Feet aren't lifting off the ground uh, too much with this team. Just nice and rapid. We can step it up a gear. So every 10 seconds you can try and get just that little bit faster with the two-inch run in place. If you have any impact issues, you can actually keep your feet on the ground and just pump your legs through with the uh, feet on the ground. Next on after that is those spider walkouts. Now with these, you're going to start in a nice, strong, uh, long plank position. And then you're going to slowly inch the hands out to where you feel comfortable, as well as moving the feet out. Obviously, if you're in a restricted space, only take them out as far as you can. If you're on somewhere that's quite slippy on the hand or under foot, just be very wary on this one. We don't want you collapsing and face planting into the ground. So these are your spider walkouts. Next up after these, you do have your side lunges. So you're going to go heads up, chest up to start. Get nice and tall. Side step out to the side. Keep the feet pointing forwards with these. And keep the feet nice and planted as you step out left and right. Only descend down into a depth that you feel comfortable with these, obviously, for the side lunges. And then next up after these is going to be your side plank. So we're going to be doing um, 40 seconds, obviously. Now, if you've got the strength to be able to hold a good, solid form and technique for 40 seconds, well, then you can do these for 40 seconds. Otherwise, you can come up, maybe hold it for 10 seconds, have a little breather, reset the form another 10 seconds. You want to try and stack one hip over the other and one shoulder over the other with these uh, side planks. Now you'll do 40 seconds one side, second time round 40 seconds the other, and then the third round we're going to do 20 seconds each side. After the uh, side plank we have your leg extensions. These are where you're going to get on all fours, you're going to get your knees directly underneath your hips and your shoulders over your hands. From that position there you're going to drive your ass up into the ceiling, squeeze the thighs at the top and then come on back and down. So smooth and steady with these, just rotate around the shoulders. Extending the legs, squeezing the thighs. And your final um, exercise for this is going to be those duck unders. So you can imagine there's a piece of rope that you've got a duck underneath and throw two jabs either side of that rope. All the way through, you're going to keep your eyes on the target. Try not to look down at the ground with this. Keep light on the feet as well, throwing those jabs. Keep the breathing nice and relaxed for those as well. So those will be your duck unders. Alright, you have a breather coming up to set yourself up for your first exercise, which is your plank into your push-up. 
So you have a 20 seconds breather now, guys. Just take yourself down under control, taking yourself down to the ground. You can start in the push-up position or you can start in the plank position, either or. If you're going to break it down to its component parts, you can do. Maybe do the plank first just to set the standard. All right, so it's plank to push-up in three, two, one, and away you go. So, like I say, nice strong plank position. Think about the heels being driven away from the head. From there and under control, you're going to come from the forearms up onto the hands. Don't be uh, afraid to take a second or two to lock that plank position in with the extended arms. Then descend down into a push-up with the elbows pointing backwards. And then drive on up. Once you've done that, you can reset the plank position before lowering yourself back down onto those forearms. And that is your plank to push-up. You will have a 20 seconds breather coming up in 5 seconds. And relax there, well done. Alright, you got 20 seconds to get ready for your crossing lunge. Now, if you do have any weight with this, so whether you've got a dumbbell lying around or some kettlebells or a large bag of rice, uh, then you can hold these and you can just curtsy behind. Biggest thing though is don't load it if you haven't got the form and the technique dialed in. Ready? Off you go. Give me 40 seconds of these crossing lunges. You really want the leg to sweep behind. Digging the toes in. If you've got a mirror, then feel free to uh, check yourself out in the mirror. Can you see your own t-shirt? Can you see your own logo? With 20 seconds left. Keep the breathing relaxed. Just let it flow. You don't want to rush these. Keep the form technique intact. All right, three more seconds. Our next exercise will be that inverted push-ups. First one today. Okay, so the inverted push-up, or the inverted shoulder press, I should say, inverted shoulder press. Hands on the ground. Snap yourself in half. You might start in a normal push-up position, then slowly walk the feet in and stick your ass up into the air. So stick your bum cheeks into the ceiling or up into the sky. Right, and slowly take yourself down and under control. So you're going to bend those elbows. Head's going to come down towards the ground. And then you're going to drive out from there. If this is too much, then just relax. Bring yourself up and perform a shoulder press if you want to, if you've got the kit. If not, maybe do one rep of these, stop and reset. Another rep, stop and reset. Remember, you don't have to smash these out for the whole 40 seconds. And it is the introduction of this exercise, so take your time. Five more seconds on these. Remember, you've got two more sets of these to get through, so don't burn yourself out in the first set. And relax. All right, bring yourself up. Bring yourself up slowly because you've just been upside down possibly for 40 seconds. Now, from there, get the feet round about shoulder width apart. See where they feel comfortable for you. And in eight seconds, you're going to go into your bodyweight squats. The speed on this is entirely up to you as long as the form and the technique stays dialed in. Ready? Off you go. 40 seconds and 40 seconds only. So one of the guys, um, one of the companies that study with Exos, they have position, pattern, and power. So get your positioning right with your feet and your setup. Then you've got the pattern, so groove that movement, knees tracking forward, hips tracking back, head and chest up. Make sure we can see the logo on your t-shirt. Then you can add the power, so you can put some speed in there or make it a bit more explosive. You've got 12 more seconds on these squats, then we're going to go into those 2-inch run in place, or the jogging on the spot. And relax there, well done. All right, so in 20 seconds, you're going to go for your first jogging on the spot or your two-inch run in place. That's in 12 seconds. All right, you can start powering the feet up, start working your way through the gears, first 40 seconds, and away you go. So two-inch run in place. If you'd prefer to really bring the knees up and go for a big jog on the spot, that's fine. It's actually way more knackering not to go as high and to really rep those out. Get the speed in there with those feet. Landing light with these as well. You don't want too much noise coming out of your feet. You're halfway through at 20 seconds. Okay, last 15 on this. Slice the hands through the air just that little bit faster if you want to. Powering through. And 
around. Relax there, well done. All right, spider walkouts are up next. So get yourself dialed in, get your body long and strong. Okay, you're going in 10 seconds, so set yourself up. Easing the hands out, easing the feet out. You've got four more seconds on this. Get ready, first 40 seconds. Really take your time after this, and away you go. So you might be breathing heavy after the old uh, two-inch run in place here. So take your time on these spider walkouts. You could use it as a little bit of active recovery, even though, let's be honest, it's quite a horrific exercise, this one. 24 seconds left. All right, 17 seconds. You may find the more tired you get, the less, less distance your hands and feet get away from each other. You're almost there on this one. You've got five more seconds. Remember, this is round one. You're bound to get better on round two and three. And relax there. Bring yourself up and out because you've got your side lunges up next. So start off nice and tall. Don't be afraid to grab a drink. Pat yourself down with a towel in between any of these rest breaks, guys. It's not a problem. Five seconds before you go for your side lunges. Three more seconds now. And away you go. Get them going for your side lunges. Again, feet are pointing forwards like they're on a pair of skis. Keeping the feet planted gets a bit of more mobility through those ankles, both left and right. All right, 20 seconds. What's up next? Uh, oh, it's your side plank up next. you still got 15 seconds on these, though. All right, last couple of seconds on this. Your side plank will be coming up next. And relax there for me. Brilliant. Take yourself down to the ground. I'll let you choose which side you want to go off. I'll, I'll kind of talk it through and imagine you're going off your left-hand side. So if you want to go off your left, that's great, unless you prefer to go off your right. But let's imagine you're going off your left-hand side. Place your left elbow on the ground. Get it tucked underneath uh, that shoulder, directly underneath that shoulder. Ready? And bring yourself up. First side plank. Now, remember, if you want to do the whole 40 seconds as long as you are long and strong, that's awesome. If you start to break down, falter or fail, then don't be afraid to um, take yourself down, reset that form and technique, and then come back up from there. All right, team, 10 more seconds on these. Excellent. Think about driving the heels away from the head. Last couple of seconds, what's up next? Leg extension. So just get ready to roll over onto all fours and relax and roll over onto all fours. So get your knees directly underneath your hips and your shoulders directly over your hands. Your toes can be dug into the ground like mine are in the demo here. Then slowly but surely, you're going to rotate around the shoulders as you drive your ass up into the ceiling. Let your head naturally rotate through your arms to look at your toes. Ready? Off you go. That'll keep your spine in line. And as you come up, get that full extension on the legs and squeeze those quadriceps at the top. With 15 seconds left, I hope you're taking this smooth and steady on this. Nothing too mental. If you go absolutely bananas on this one, it'll look like you're on a bucking bronco or something. You'll be getting there. Uh, you'll hear some right funny looks. Now, after these leg extensions, we will have the duck under. And relax there. So, bring yourself up. Get yourself into a nice tall stance, but I want it to be relaxed, okay? Don't get your feet rooted to the ground, because in 10 seconds, you're going to duck underneath an imaginary punch or an imaginary washing line or something along those lines, and you're going to throw two headshots before you duck back underneath to the opposite side and throw two more. Ready? Off you go. So, duck unders here. So you're ducking, jab, jab, duck, jab, jab. Staying nice and light on the feet. Keep the breathing nice and relaxed, and definitely keep your eyes on the target. No let up on this one. This is exercise 10 of 10, by the way. So this is the end of round one already. Absolutely flying through these. 15 seconds.
Almost there, and relax, way to go. All right, let's get it dialed in for round two. Now, if you just did the plank last time and you just want to do push-ups this time, you can do. If you did the plank to push-up last time and you want to rock and roll, maybe you want to scale it down now, maybe round one burn you out. You could just do a plank on this one. Otherwise, get ready, you've got three seconds for your second set of plank to push-up. <gasps> now, and away you go. So, taut and tight. Get the arms like train tracks. Don't let those hands come together. Don't make me come over there. So get those arms like train tracks. Pull the shoulders down and back in that strong plank position. And then you can come on up. Get those hands rooted to the ground like they're gripping a pair of jar lids. Then you can slowly lower yourself down with that push-up position. Elbows flared back. Drive on up. Try and unscrew the jar lids with your hands as you push on up. That will bring the upper muscles of the back uh, in even more, get them lit up. They're called the lats. All right, you got three more seconds on this. Kind of been chunnering through that. That's a lot to go through that. And relax there. Great stuff. It's back into those crossing lunges. Weight's optional on these if you uh, have got any weights in the house or a small child or a heavy dog. All right, eight more seconds on this before your crossing lunges kick in. Three more seconds. And away you go. So let's go. Smooth and steady. Crossing lunges. Again, keep the breathing nice and relaxed. See how I'm slicing through with these hands. I say slicing through the hands. I don't actually know what I was doing with my hands on this. <laughs> Maybe do some jazz hands if you want to. Give us a wave. Oh, you got 18 seconds. That's what, I, what you have got. I'll tell you what you want to do while you're doing these crossing lunges. Keep those shoulders loose because you've got inverted press-ups next. <gasps> or inverted shoulder press. Right, five seconds left on these crossing lunges. If you have got any weight, just make sure you put it down out of the way. And relax. So if you have been using a dumbbell or a, a kettlebell on that, just make sure you got, uh, get it out of the way so your training here is nice and clear because you have your inverted shoulder press-up next. Nine seconds. Stand by. Four more seconds on this. All right, away you go. So ease yourself into these. There's 10 seconds already gone. Like I say, you might just do one rep, have a breather, do another rep, have a breather. These aren't easy, all right? Don't think you should be smashing these out. If you are, great, as long as the form and technique is dialed in. Last 15 seconds. If you're not right in the head, if you are like a bit of a, a beast from the east, you can actually put your feet on something higher. So even more of your body weight is dialed in on these. Three more seconds. Squats are up next, guys. And relax. Well done. So body weight squats are up next. Think of that position pattern power. So set up your positioning. Get their feet to where they feel comfortable with you. Then groove the pattern. Then add the power. All right, three more seconds, two more seconds, one more second, and away you go. So nice and easy on these. If you've still got a dumbbell or a kettlebell knocking around that you might have been using for your crossing lunges, if you want to use them with these squats, then you can do. Because you're halfway through on these. Next up will be that two-inch run in place. Once you've done that two-inch run in place, oh my god, you're like 15 exercises in with only 15 left. But for now, let's concentrate on these squats, shall we, Falsy? Here we go. Eight seconds left. Four more seconds on these squats, guys. Get your feet to grip the ground with the last couple. And relax there. Well done. The two-inch run in place is up next. So feet shoulder width. Ish. If you want to come close, that's fine. All right, we've got 10 seconds before you light these up. Again, slice and dice with the arms. Five seconds. Here we go. You got three, two, one. All right. Let's think of gear one. So we're a little bit slower than what we would be at All Out War. In four seconds, you might go a little bit faster. You're going to take it up to gear two. Ready? And step it up to gear two. So you're going a little bit faster, and the arms have kicked in a bit more. I'm sure they have. You've got five more seconds before you kick into gear three, right? Ready? And away you go. Give me gear three. That's better. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. You've got five more seconds before that fourth and final gear kicks in. All right. And away you go. Give me ten seconds. Fast as you can with these two fast feet. Two-inch run in place. Let's go. Let's go. Four more seconds. 
Come on, you got this. And relax. Well done. All right. <sighs> a little, well, let's put it this way. Take yourself down to the ground. At least you're close to the ground. And you can have a little bit of a breather. But in 11 seconds, you go for this spider walkouts. So down to the ground, starting that push-up position. This is where now definitely your legs and arms might not be going as wide. Ready? And away you go. Take yourself down. Biggest thing with this is keep that plank position locked in. All right? One, don't stick your ass up into the ceiling. And two, don't get saggy in the center. Keep your ear, your shoulder, and your hips in line with this. Nice, long, strong plank. Thirteen seconds left on these spider walkouts. Again, if it starts to break down, fault or fail, because you've just done your two-inch run in place, put your knees down on the ground, have a breather. Once you've got it, then get back into that plank. Almost there on this one. And relax. Well done. All right, it is the side lunges up next. Smooth and steady with ease. You're going in thirteen seconds, guys. Stand by. Grab a drink if you need one, team. Last eight seconds. Okay, side lunges coming up. Now, away you go. Ease yourself into the first couple. You're a bit more tired now, possibly. Hell, you might be even feeling even more refreshed. So you might be able to sink down into those side lunges just that little bit more. But if you're feeling a bit more pooped and it's starting to break down or something's not feeling right, just don't do it. You've got 20 seconds left on these side lunges. You will have your side plank coming up next. Now, we did the, well, I talked through the left-hand side last time, so you'll hit up the right side plank next time. you got 10 seconds. Two more seconds. Get ready for this, and have a breather, team. Now, take yourself down. Let's stack that right elbow underneath your right shoulder, which means your left shoulder will be over your right shoulder. Get your hips aligned one over the other. You can, I should have said this on round one, but hopefully you know by doing the other ones. You can go on the knees for this, guys, or you're going to extend those legs fully. Ready? And away you go. If you are extending the legs fully, make sure your top leg is in front so the feet aren't stacked. you got 10 seconds gone already. If you don't know this, the reason we don't stack the feet is if you stack the feet, your base of support is smaller. If your base of support is smaller, you have to concentrate on your balance a bit more and less on the core. But if we make your base of support bigger by putting one foot in front of the other, you don't have to concentrate on stability more, which means you can get the musculature and the abdominals working a bit more. Who knew? Five more seconds. you got four more seconds, guys, at three, two, one. One, and relax there for your side planks. It's the leg extensions, so stay right where you are and roll over onto your front. Set your knees underneath your hips and your shoulders over your hands. <gasps> All right, 10 seconds. Four more seconds on this. Ready. And away you go. So smooth and steady. Let's go for those leg extensions. Driving on up. Look at the toes. Back on down. Drive on up. Look at the toes. Back on down. Smooth and steady. Take your time. Again, you don't want to rush it. You want to be concentrating on the squeeze on the front of the thighs. Okay, you got 10 more seconds on this team. 10 more seconds. Next up after these, we're back into your duck unders. And believe it or not, that will be the end of round two of three. And relax. So bring yourself up and out of those leg extensions and set yourself up for your duck unders team. You've got 14 seconds before you rock and roll. Grab a drink if you need one. Jump up and down a few times. Just loosen off. Ready? You've got five seconds before you unleash the fist of fury. Ready? And away you go. Duck underneath, boom, boom. Hit that target, duck underneath, boom, boom. Yeah, no problems. Launching a couple of sledgehammers out there. 25 seconds like you got a pair of boxing gloves on with Acme anvils inside. Landing those against your target. 18 seconds. If they blink, they've missed your duck under. You're moving that fast. It's unbelievable. Got 10 seconds left on this, guys. Round two of three. Only one more to go, guys. Been outstanding so far. You got four more seconds. 
And relax. Well done. There's your duck under saw it. Right, get back down into that plank position. It is your final plank to push up. One way of breaking this down as well is maybe doing a 20 seconds plank and 20 seconds push ups. That's one way of breaking this down as well. But for now, if you're going for the whole 40, ready? All right, rock them out. Give us a plank to push up. So come on up, perform that push up, take yourself back down, as long as the form's in check. Twenty five seconds on this. Last twenty seconds. Crossing lunges. Your final set of crossing lunges are up after this. Come on, is there another couple of push ups left in there with ten seconds? I'm sure there is. Can we give us another two? Give us another two plank to push ups. Come on, get them in there. Let's go. You got this. Down, relax, outstanding. All right, bring yourself up and out. It is the crossing lunges. Final time on this one. All right, five seconds. Get those hands and legs sweeping. Your best Fred to stay. Ready? Off you go. Give me 40 seconds and 40 seconds only. Don't get greedy and do 50 or 60. Now, positioning with eyes, you want to try and keep the lead knee, so the, the foot that's planted, not the one that's sweeping, you want to try and keep the knee over that ankle there. What you don't want it doing is excessively roving out to the left or the right with these. You've got 15 seconds on these crossing lunges. Next up will be those, that final, thank God, inverted shoulder press, with only five seconds left on these crossing lunges. And relax there. Well done. All right. Final set, I swear. Honest. No more. All right. You got 13 seconds. Inverted shoulder press. Eight more seconds. This is before you go, by the way. Don't, I hope you haven't started. Come on. If you don't need a breather, you're not training hard enough or I've designed this wrong. Ready? All right. Now let's go. Inverted shoulder press. You can do the kettlebell shoulder press. You can do a sandbag shoulder press. You can do a dumbbell shoulder press. You can grab a small child and press overhead press. Whatever you're doing, you've got 23 seconds left. Do not be afraid to rest as and when you need to, guys. All right, you only have 10 more seconds left on this one. Last four. And relax, outstanding. It's the final squats of this session. So get the feet. What did I say at the end of round two, near the end? Get your feet to grip the ground like talons, right? Really get your, if you're barefoot, that is awesome, all right? But even if you're in your trainers, let's get those tootsies working. Right, grab the ground with your feet, and let's go for those squats. Certainly thinking, Big toe, little toe in the back of your heel as points of a triangle. Let's keep all that triangle pressed through the ground with this. So don't let the big toe come up. Don't let the heels come up. Don't make me come over there. All right, you got 20 seconds left on these squats. Now, if you've got this form dialed in, you know, can you, can you speed up a little bit? We got 10 more seconds on these squats. It will be your two-inch run in place coming up next. Third and final set of those bad boys as well. You've got five seconds left on these squats, which means five seconds means ten more reps, right? <laughs> and relax there. All right. Chill out. Loosen off. Give the arms and legs a bit of a shake. Here we go. You've got 14 seconds for your final two-inch run in places on this section. Seven seconds. Get ready. Make sure your training here is nice and clear. Three, two, one. One, let's go. So we're straight into this. Whether you want to knock it up the gears, awesome. Or whether you're going to go all out war because this is the last time you'll do this. Do what you can. You're already 10 seconds in, so this is 25% done. Slice and dice with the hands. Pitter patter with the feet. Keep them rapid. Keep them rapid. Last 13 seconds on each. You will have spider walkouts coming up next. Last nine. Five more seconds. Spider walkouts up next. But you got three. Let's go. Two. One. 
and relax outstanding I just coached that and I was out of breath. I don't know how you guys are doing. Right, you've got 14 seconds. Get yourself ready. Good, strong push-up position. Stand by. Nine seconds. Spider walk has final time. If you're absolutely hanging, if you're absolutely like dying here, just move the feet. All right? And away you go. So keep the hands exactly where they are and just separate the feet. All right? And then slowly take yourself down. It's easier to control those feet if you're absolutely... You know, you're blowing air and you're trying to get air into your lungs and it's just going to start breaking down. Just move the feet instead. Keep the hands where they are. All right, you've got 19 seconds left on this. But if you can move the arms and the feet, keep going. Can you get it to the point where literally I could slide a sliver of newspaper in between your belly button and the ground? You're that low. you got six more seconds. And relax there. Well done. All right. It is the side lunges up next, team. Side lunges. We've only got four more drills left. 26 drills boxed off. Four left to pay in. Right. Three more seconds. Stand by. And away you go. Side lunges for me. Heads up, chest up. Only descend down into the depth that you can comfortably control. Right, you're already halfway through. After these side lunges, we have that side plank. Remember, on the next upcoming side plank, we will do 20 seconds either side, just so we stay nice and even. Nine more seconds on these side lunges, guys. Four more seconds. And relax there, outstanding. Right, side plank in 15 seconds. So side plank in 15 seconds. Take yourself down to the ground. We are going to do 20 seconds each side. Let's start off the left-hand side because that's had the bigger breather because we did the right-hand side on round two. So let's come down to the left-hand side. Left elbow down. Stack the shoulders. Stack the hips. Get ready. And up. Right. 20 seconds and 20 seconds only here. You're already 10 seconds in. In seven seconds, you're going to roll over and immediately dial in the side plank off the opposite side. Stand by and change. All right, give me 18 seconds off this side. Last 10. Last six. You're almost there on this one. Leg extensions will be up next. And relax there. Well done. Outstanding. Roll over onto your front. Here we go. You have two exercises to finish strong. We have the leg extensions and your duck unders. You have 10 seconds before your leg extensions kick in. All right. Five more seconds. This is exercise 29 of 30. And away you go. Ease yourself into it. Smooth, steady, controlled, breathing relaxed. If you want to make it harder, don't let the knees reset to the ground. Just let the knees hover above the ground. Like get a little sliver of light between the knee and the floor. That means the muscles can't relax by, re uh, by the knees resting on the ground. Last five seconds on this. And it is the duck unders coming up next. Ready and relax. Well done. Bring yourself up and out. Ladies and indeed gentlemen, it is the final duck unders coming up. All right. 10 seconds, you're entering the ring, the music's playing, everybody's screaming your name, get ready, you've got three seconds, bring the fists up, get your guard up, ready, let's go, so ducking underneath, jab, jab, duck underneath, there we go, round 30 of 30, looking good, feeling good, should be in Hollywood, you've got 27 seconds, jab them out, come on. Don't slow down now. Don't you dare slow down for 20 seconds. 18 seconds, guys. Last 15. Let me take the time out to say thank you so much for jumping into this bodyweight circuit session. Very much appreciated, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. You've got five more seconds. I will see you soon. Get ready at three, 